so we will see the proof for the second derivative test so in the uh, first part of the second derivative test so we have if f dash of x naught is equal to 0 so and f double dash of x is greater than 0 then f has a relative minimum at x naught so we are given that f dash of x naught is equal to 0 and f double dash of x naught uh, is greater than 0 so we have to show that f has a relative minimum at x naught so we will see the uh, proof of part a and uh, ok so we are given that f dash of x naught equal to 0 and f double dash of x naught is greater than 0. Now uh, we need to show that so we need to show that uh, f has a relative minimum at x naught. So now uh, let us look at f double dash of x naught. So f double dash of x naught can be put in the form limit x tends to x naught f dash of x minus f dash of x naught by x minus x naught. So we have f dash of x naught that is equal to 0. So this becomes limit x tends to x naught f dash of x by x minus x naught. So uh, we have got f double dash of uh, x naught equal to so f double dash of x naught is equal to limit x tends to x naught f dash of x by uh, x minus x naught. So now uh, this is given to be greater than 0. So now uh, when we take the uh, left limit. So if x approaches to uh, x naught from the left side. So if you have limit x tends to x naught minus. So you can see that the denominator is negative for uh, x in the another x naught in the left side in approach in the value arikim apo denominator negative arikim apo denominator negative arno angle we motham term positive arno angle uh, f dash of uh, x must be less than 0 ni uh, when x approaches from the right side so uh, when x tends to x naught plus so when we are approaching to x naught from the right side a case la, uh, x minus x naught positive arikim appo idu positive aanu appo motham ratio positive aanu angil f dash of x must be uh, greater than 0 so what you are getting here uh, you are having f dash of x less than 0 so in an interval uh, towards the left of x naught the function is decreasing and towards the right of x naught function is decreasing uh, function is increasing so at x naught you are going to have a uh, relative minimum so this is the condition for the function to have a relative minimum by the first derivative test so therefore uh, this will give you a relative minimum so uh, let us uh, write that okay so if uh, x approaches to x naught from the left uh, x minus x naught is negative So, f double dash of x naught uh, greater than 0 if f dash of x is less than 0 
என்ன ஓப்பன் என்றால் டு தி லெஃப்ட் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் நாட் and if x approaches to x not from the uh, right so you have x minus x not uh, is positive so f double dash of x not that will be greater than 0 if so f dash of x must be greater than 0 so so f double dash of x will be greater than 0 if f dash of x is greater than 0 in an open interval uh, to the right of x not so now we will uh, use the first derivative test so therefore by first derivative test at x equal to x not we have a relative minimum so because that's what you are getting from left side la uh, decreasing uh, and right side la increasing aanu so that will give a relative minimum so therefore if f double dash of x not is greater than 0 then x equal to x not is a relative minimum and the proof of b is similar uh, proof of uh, b cheyumbo again f double dash of x not eduka limit extends to x not ide uh, value aayirikku ningalku varu f dash of x by x minus x not less than zero aayirikku varu appo positive avana eppana left edukumbo negative avanulla condition endha nokka right side like pala limit edukumbo negative avanulla condition endha nokka so that will give the uh, condition of a relative maximum so uh, that is similar to uh, proof of a so i'm leaving it as an exercise so please uh, complete that okay and now we will look at the uh, proof of the third part so Uh, in proof of the third part uh, so it says that uh, when f double dash of x is equal to 0 the test is inconclusive that means uh, you can either obtain a relative maximum or a relative minimum or uh, neither a relative maximum uh, nor a minimum so for uh, the third part we will give three examples where when f double dash of x not is equal to 0 we are having a relative maximum relative minimum and uh, neither maximum nor a minimum so uh, to prove uh, this part of the theorem uh, we need we need to provide functions for which uh, f dash of x not is equal to 0 f double dash of x not is equal to 0 but uh, with 1 having relative minimum and one having relative maximum 
and uh, one having neither mm, maximum nor minimum so we will look at three functions so uh, for example if you take f of x equal to x raised to 4 so when I am taking the graph of x raised to 4 so the graph will be something like this so if it is 0 so here for x raised to 4 so if you take f dash of x so that is equal to 4 x cube f double dash of x is equal to 12 x square so therefore f dash of x equal to 0 implies x is equal to 0 so you have f dash of 0 equal to 0 and f double dash of 0 equal to 0 so, but uh, f has a minimum at x equal to 0 so this is an example where you have a minimum but the second derivative is uh, not positive so, second derivative positive on angle uh, minimum arikim. Uh, in the other way, the second derivative zero ayar, there is a possibility that the point can be a relative minimum so this is an example and uh, uh, another example of uh, having a, a maximum is so you take f of x equal to minus x raised to 4 so, minus x raised to 4 in the graph varumbo, uh, graph ingana varum so again uh, f dash of 0 will be 0 f double dash of 0 will be 0 so you can see from the figure that so x equal to 0 is a local maximum so therefore uh, you are having a point such that f dash of 0 is equal to 0 f double dash of 0 is equal to 0 and uh, it is a local maximum and uh, the third example is uh, you need to show that uh, you get neither so take f of x equal to x cube f dash of x 3 x square varu. f double dash of x 6 x uh, f dash of 0 is 0 uh, f double dash of 0 is equal to 0 so if you look at the graph of x cube uh, that will be uh, something like this okay uh, so here at x equal to 0 no or another uh, that is neither a maximum nor a minimum so that is going to be an inflection point so x equal to 0 is uh, neither a maximum nor a minimum so, uh, x equal to 0 at a neighborhood you can find function values which are greater than 0 and less than 0 so it cannot be a maximum nor a minimum so therefore when uh, f dash of x naught is equal to 0 and f double dash of x naught is equal to uh, 0 so it can be either a relative maximum relative minimum or uh, neither maximum nor minimum so uh, that is the uh, proof for the third part uh, uh, so there you have to give only the three set of examples where you have a maximum minimum and uh, neither of that so that is the proof for the second derivative test and uh, so uh, in the next class we will look at how to uh, find the relative extrema using the uh, derivative test so with that we will conclude for today and kindly uh, complete the proof for uh, part b also so do that by yourself thank you